have a lawyer. The Jesus House has been around as an urban Christian mission in Oklahoma City since 1973. But it's faced some hard times recently with reports of extravagant salaries and failing donations. But Jesus House officials hope their actions this week will put the hard times behind them. Gab Matthews reports. Since last August, when it was revealed that Executive Director Janice Mercer was making $177,000 a year, donations to the Jesus House have all but dried up. Faced with little income to care for the mission's 80 residents, the board of directors this week slashed Mercer's salary by 55% and added a number of financial safeguards. People have to have faith that the money that they donate or the uh, dollars that are in this institution are being used for the, to their best purposes. You think they could? Janice Mercer says she's okay with the salary cut and welcomes the new oversight. I've had to do the fundraising, the personnel, um, all the maintenance issues, take care of everybody in the building, take care of the media, um, manage the finances. And I, that has just worn me out. The board considered firing Mercer, but decided against it for now. Jan's aware that that is an option. The board now has the authority to do that. and. And, and we'll have to always consider that as an option. The board and Mercer hope the focus can now return to the mission of Jesus House, providing food, warmth, and shelter for its residents, which are expected to grow by 30% in the months ahead. We need blankets, and we've got probably 3,000 people needing a food basket. But before a new day can dawn, there's one lingering issue. The state attorney general has been asked to investigate whether salary increases and loans to the executive director and others were legally authorized. That investigation is continuing. Gan Matthews, News 9.